Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and welcome back to another How to Install video. Today, I will be showing you how to install the Great War mod version 5.1.5, which is a World War I mod for Napoleon Total War. It is quite fun and even features some unique units like machine guns, heavy artillery, and tanks. I will warn you, though, that this mod is quite unstable and can crash frequently, so make sure and lower your graphics settings during battles and save frequently during your campaigns. Alright, let's go ahead and dive on into the Great War mod. So I'm just going to go to moddb.com here, and at the top of the screen, begin typing in the Great War mod, and it should be the first one there. And you can see that it is actually receiving updates to this day, or, or within a couple of months ago. Looks like the Kingdom of Bulgaria is going to be added soon, if not already. But we're going to navigate over to the Files tab. And I am glad that I'm updating my tutorial video on this mod, because I believe the last version was 5.1.4, but the 5.1.5 is the one we're going to be using today. So of course we will need the base game, which is 5.1, and then we'll also need the patch. So let's open both of those in a new tab and hit download now. Make sure to leave the ad up until you see the download begin, because if you close it, it actually does cancel the download. And same for the hot patch, or sorry, the hot fix patch. And there we go. So this isn't going to take too long, although it does depend on your internet provider and your internet speed. So if yours takes longer than mine does, feel free to just pause the video until yours has completed its download, and then you can resume the video. But I've got both of them downloaded here, so I'm going to go ahead and just close all my tabs. And oh, there's Napoleon himself. He's like, hey, are you installing mods on my game? We'll just put that over his face for now. And let's uh, make sure that we're going to install it into the correct folder. So I've got my downloads folder out, which is the two files here, the two packed files. And then we're just going to navigate to our Napoleon Total War folder. So for most people, most Steam users, it will be local C, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then you should have Napoleon Total War here. For non-Steam users, disk users, I might add, it will probably be Local C, Program Files 86, Sega, Napoleon Total War. But for me, I keep it on my G drive, so I'm just going to quickly run through pretty much the same process. And there it is. And then we're going to open up the base game first. So if you don't know which one it is, just make sure it's the larger of the, of the two. You can see this is 912 megabytes, and this one is 23.5, so this is the base game here. So double-click on that, and uh, you can just hit X there. Open up the file, the, the Great War Mod uh, folder, and then hit Extract to. And then we're going to do the same pathway to our Napoleon Total War folder. So G, Steam Games, Steam Apps. Oops, come on. There we go. Common, down to Napoleon Total War. And hit OK. And it should download into our Napoleon Total War folder. And basically it's going to replace the data folder. Or it's not going to replace it, but it's going to put all the files into the data folder. And then it should put the readme in there as well. So if we open up the data folder, we do have our Great War folder there, which is what we need. But we're not done yet. We want to make sure that we do install this patch. So double click on the patch now. And then same thing with, we got the data folder, so let's go ahead and extract two. G, Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, down to Napoleon Total War, where are you? There you are. Okay, and then this should come up because it's going to want to replace some of the Great War mod files. So just hit yes to all, and then you're done. That is pretty much it. So if we go into data and then into Great War mod, we've got the launcher here. So you could actually uh, just, uh, where am I looking, create a shortcut, and then you could put that to your desktop, uh, and then I've already got one on there, but I'm just going to replace that, and then that's where you can launch your mod. Now, another really important thing to do, I'll just delete the shortcut from in there, the other important thing to do is to make sure you run this as administrator. So I'm going to run it now. Uh, I'm going to right-click and click Run as Administrator. And then I'm going to hit yes, and this launches the mod. So now, the other thing I did mention in my Darth mod how to install, please make sure with the Darth mod that you do 
go into the launcher and in the launch settings, make sure you say restore vanilla. Because if you don't do that, then the Great War mod is going to try to run on top of Darth mod and it can get kind of mixed up. So do make sure that uh, you have the Darth mod disabled. But you can see the launch options here. And then we can install mod, launch game, or uninstall if you decide you don't want it. And then we have uh, some setup that we can go through, but I'm just going to go ahead and launch the mod. done loading there and here we go we are in the great war mod so let's go ahead and jump into a campaign although i'm just quickly going to mute the music because i don't know if it's copyrighted or not and let's just go ahead and jump into one of the world war one campaigns and just do a couple end turns and a battle just to prove to you that it does indeed work so probably with the german empire we should have the ability to do an attack relatively soon, so let's go ahead and start the game. And apologies for the longer loading times. Uh, as I've said many times before, it's one of my big gripes with the PC that I built, was that my solid state drive, my C drive, was just too small, so I can't really fit a lot of my games onto there. They do load so fast on my solid state drive, but uh, this is just on a, uh, a basic hard drive. So here we go, uh, reinforce faction loyalty. So this basically makes it as historically accurate as possible. So as it says, it'll disable the script and try and keep the original allies together for the war. So we'll just hit accept for now, that's fine. And for uh, Germany here, who can we attack uh, within one turn? I do want to do one end turn, uh, so let's Oh, that's going to take two turns to build. So you know what? Let's grab this army here. And uh, we will attack Austria. So let's move down here with this army. It's probably going to be slow because of those light howitzers, which is fine. I'm actually going to dump uh, these two in as well. And let's go ahead and build stuff. Now, as far as I can tell, I did about 60 turns on this new patch uh, playing as Greece, and I was quite surprised I didn't experience one crash during the campaign. It was very, very smooth, so I don't know if that's something to do with the new patch, but I did experience... Oh, no, no, just, just move over here. I did experience some crashing during battles when I was playing in the campaign. So, as I said, just make sure to save before every battle, and then if you if it just continually crashes, just uh, auto-resolve that battle, or if it's out of your favor, uh, bring some more troops to make it more into your favor and just auto-resolve it, and then you'll just be able to get past. Trade agreement, their offers, sure, why not? Now, I'm hoping there is still going to be a garrison there. It looks like they did abandon it. But I would like to actually load into a battle if possible. So let's go ahead and declare war. That's fine. And we do have armed citizens. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you guys that it loads into a, into a battle with no problems. And then we will end the video. This is a common bug as well. I did experience this not on all maps, but on some of the maps. Uh, it just goes black for a little bit until it does load it. And then you can see... The deployment zones are there. The Battle of Prague, 1914. The Great German War Machine. And there we go. And this is a couple of the units that I was talking about, these unique units here. Uh, so I've got, I think, two of the uh, light howitzers. So if I uh, unlimber them here, actually, let's line them up a little bit better on that hilltop. So yeah, take a look at those. That is pretty awesome. Got some light howitzer artillery, which we can put on the hilltop there. Also got uh, quite a few of the German cavalry. 
and then the rest is basically just a lot of line infantry. And that is it. But I don't really have to fight this battle, it's just to prove to you that my mod installation was a success, and that we are loading very properly. Let's actually just watch a few of these though, because they are super satisfying to watch. The howitzer's coming down. Look at that! I'm sure a lot of the armed citizenry is hidden in the trees. There we go. But obviously this is going to be a landslide victory for the German war machine. But that is it guys, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this how to install tutorial. I hope it was informative and that you guys are able to play the Great War mod as well. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.